We've known for a while now that Tiffany Beeston's husband, Chris, is trying to get his real estate license and will be going back to work outside of the home, outside of social media, sometime in the near future. Chris has stated that he wants to sell high-end beach properties. To sell those, you know, high-end million-dollar beach homes, um, you know, and I also like property management. So They first mentioned Chris getting his real estate license back in November of 2023. We're now in February of 2024, and he still doesn't have his license. He's still taking classes. I don't know when he started taking classes. He could have started prior to November, or he could have started in January. Google says applicants in New Jersey must complete a 90-hour general real estate course followed by two 30-hour courses on agency ethics and office management and related topics. Google also says the New Jersey real estate exam is more intimidating than difficult. The pass rate is approximately 70%, which means three out of every 10 people that take the test fail. Currently, Chris and Tiffany, well, Tiffany at least, seems to do a lot of her work late at night. A viewer recently left this comment on Tiffany's video. You seem down and blah in your voiceovers lately. Hope all is well. Tiffany said, thanks. It was 1 a.m. when I was finally able to do it. Hashtag mom life. If she's not able to get something done or if she's running behind or if she forgets to do something, she always blames it on mom life. In a recent video, Tiffany was talking about Chris having to be on a call one night as she was preparing dinner. A viewer left this comment, tell Chris good luck on his journey on real estate. He'll do great. Love y'all. Tiffany responded, thank you. Once he's done his courses, I start. I'll be doing my normal uploads, but excited to add something else to the resume. Are you buying what Tiffany's selling? Do you think she really can't wait to add something else to her resume? A lot of times Tiffany seems exhausted, overworked, unable to get things done that she wants to get done. Tiffany just admitted that sometimes she doesn't do voiceovers for her YouTube videos until 1 a.m. in the morning. She just seems overwhelmed, stressed out, and exhausted a lot. And she recently just changed her upload schedule from Sunday and Tuesday to Sunday and Wednesday because Tiffany said she was having a hard time getting up a video on Sunday and then on Tuesday as well. She wanted to give herself more time between each video. How is she so excited about adding more work to her plate? Do you believe that she can't wait to add more work to her plate? I think the Beeston's income has gone down significantly and they are low key freaking out. I think they're being proactive and they're trying to figure something else out because at this time, I don't think social media is providing the life, the income that they had back during the pandemic. During the pandemic, Tiffany, Chris, and other creators were making so much money. They were getting a lot of views. Everybody was clicking their links and buying all the stuff they were promoting. Tiffany was doing Young Living. All of that has changed. Their income has gone down significantly and they're trying to make up for it. They don't want to give anything up. They don't want to give the second home up or the boat up. They want to sustain their lifestyle. And so I do think that will require Chris to get a job and that's what he's doing. He is taking steps to get a job outside of social media so he can help support his family and sustain the lifestyle that they currently have. I think that's important to the Beastons. They don't want to give anything up. Tiffany's analytics for Beauty and the Beastins show a huge decrease in views. Back in 2021, she was getting around 2 million views a month. Fast forward to current day in December of 2023, her channel didn't even break a million views. That's a huge drop in views, which means her income has gone down significantly just on YouTube. One viewer said her views are going down because she does the same videos over and over again. Party prep, Amazon finds, ultimate clean with me, decorate with me. It's boring. I used to watch her all the time, but now I find them so dull now. And 175 people agreed with this comment. 
You can usually tell when a creator's views drop significantly, they start picking up more sponsorships. And it seems like Tiffany has a new sponsorship every other day over on Instagram. Recently, she's been sponsored by Nerds, Nutrafol, and some eyewear company. Viewers have definitely noticed an increase in sponsorships lately from Tiffany. Just recently, Tiffany is trying to convince her viewers that she is now a gamer and she has free time to just sit around and play video games on her phone. Tiffany claims she is obsessed with this game called Love and Pies. She says she plays it every second of downtime she gets. Love and Pies must be paying Tiffany a lot of money because she's promoting them heavily on Instagram. She did this huge ad for Love and Pies. She dresses up in this Valentine's Day cute little outfit with a little apron on and she talks about these love letters the game actually sent her and she is so excited to give these love letters to Chris. They're so cute and I can't wait to give this one to Chris. And she even bakes a pie because she says this video game inspired her to bake a pie. Today when I was playing, it inspired me to make a pie of my own and plan a little date. Tiffany says she is obsessed with this game and it revolves around a mom's burnt down cafe that you're trying to revive and make it back into a thriving business. Now, I've never seen Tiffany hardcore promote video games before. When influencers start taking on sponsorships for things they typically don't promote on their channel, I think this is an indication that they need to take on more sponsorships because their income has gone down in one area. And I think her YouTube income has gone down, so she is making it up with sponsorships. If you saw Tiffany's Love and Pie ad on Instagram, what did you think of it? Was it believable? Do you think she's really obsessed with this game and she gives all of her free time to it? Or do you think she's reading a script? Remember, influencers are not actors. They're influencers. And according to the FTC guidelines for influencers, they cannot review a product that they've never used and they cannot give false information in their review or sponsorship. If they think a product sucks, they can't say it's the best thing ever. In this video, Tiffany says they will not be vlogging as much on their family vlogging channel because Chris is focused on getting his real estate license and she said she will also be getting her license after Chris gets his. And she makes it seem like they will be a real estate team, like the Beeston Family Real Estate Agency. It's something great to have, you know, and we would make a great team. So that's just a new fun little chapter. This is going to be a fun new chapter for Tiffany, she says. She's making it sound like it's not going to be a lot of work. And real estate is a lot of work. Some content creators experience success by it just falling into their laps. For example, if a video goes viral. Creators really have no control over that. It's just something that happens out of the blue. And if you listen to creators talk about viral videos, they'll say things like, I never thought that video would go viral. I would have done X, Y, Z better. I would have changed this. So sometimes success on social media just falls into your lap. I do hear influencers say this a lot when they start new businesses or new adventures. They're like, oh, this is just fun little thing I'm adding to my resume. They're just expecting success to just fall into their laps. And that doesn't always happen. Does it happen to some? Yes, of course. But a lot of times it takes years and years of hard work to build a successful business. Tiffany said she will continue to do YouTube. She loves the community that she's built and she will continue to post on YouTube. A viewer said, um, hi, why no more uploads on the Beast and Family Vibes channel? Just curious. Tiffany responded, um, hi, we will still upload there when we want, but right now Chris is busy focusing on his real estate license and other business ventures. Chris has also mentioned that he would like to maybe flip a house or get into property management. So one of those things could be the other business ventures Tiffany is referring to. In a recent video, Tiffany said she's been doing the nighttime routine, cooking dinner, all that stuff solo because Chris has been busy taking calls, taking classes at night. And this is something Tiffany's not used to. Tiffany is used to having her husband right beside her. She said they tag team everything. Tiffany did seem a little bothered in this video that Chris was having to focus on something else other than the family and helping her.
The thing I wish was that Chris didn't have to be on his call. Or Tiffany said she is so grateful that Chris was able to at least be at home while he took his class because he was able to eat dinner with them. He did have the option to go take the class outside of the home, but he opted to just do it over the phone or computer, whatever he was doing. I think the Beastons might be in for a rude awakening because they're just not used to having jobs outside of their home, outside of social media. They're so used to just working in their home as a family. The dynamic in their relationship, in their family life is going to change a lot when Chris steps outside the home and has to go to work. When you're a real estate agent, you have to show houses at night sometimes, on the weekend sometimes. How's Tiffany going to handle everything. I say that because she's just not used to handling everything on her own. She's used to having her partner, Chris, right there to tag team everything with her. I mean, she says that so much in her videos. We tag team everything. We do everything together. That's about to change if he's getting his real estate license. Also, I don't understand why content creators try to make it sound like they're going and getting another job just because it's fun. Most people don't take on a second job or a side hustle just because it's fun, especially when you're in the middle of raising your kids. Their kids are really young. They have a preschooler. So you wouldn't just take on another job just because it's fun or it's something great to add to your resume, you know? This is the time in their life when they want to be home. They want to be available to their kids as much as possible. I mean, Tiffany preaches about this on her channel all the time, how thankful she is that she gets to work from home and be available to her kids whenever they need her. So for her to make it sound like she's just picking up real estate just because, ah, oh, it's fun, just something to add to the resume, I think viewers like transparency and they would love to hear, you know, the real explanation about why the Beastons are getting another job. Keep in mind, they're not replacing their job. They're adding another job to their plate. And the Beastons already seem stressed out. They're tired all the time. They never get enough sleep. They seem very overwhelmed. So how do you think the Beastons will do once Chris works more outside the home and he's not available to Tiffany and the family as much as he is now? Also, what do you think about the increase in sponsorships Tiffany's been doing lately and the Love and Pie sponsorship? Come on. What are your thoughts on that? Go check out this video next. Chris goes on a podcast and talks more about his plans to do real estate. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll talk to you soon in the next video.